our high energy brains require us to avoid fiber, sugar, plants. Dr. Nadir Ali. This is what the standard American diet is. Unfortunately, nobody in this audience eats it. It's got the trifecta of grains, added sugar, and plant oils. And what it does is that it causes insulin resistance and causes all the things that we have heard about. But the way I want to summarize is what is the optimal diet? Whether you believe the expensive tissue hypothesis or no, we all recognize that we have enormous energy expensive brains. And the primary focus of our digestion is the small intestine, which is designed to absorb high quality nutrients without processing them. And we have rudimentary fermentation capacity, as Zoe pointed out. The expensive tissue hypothesis. In order for an organism to evolve a large brain without significant increases in basal metabolic rate, like in humans, the organism must use less energy on other expensive tissues. Eating easy to digest foods, cooking our food, allows us to get by with a smaller, less energy intensive gut. In addition, we have an acid-based digestion. We have a monogastric stomach that makes acid. That's absolutely essential for protein digestion. And if we dilute that acid with fiber, or fiber binds with minerals, you're not going to absorb the protein. In addition, our pancreas, we are, we are bestowed with a pretty bad pancreas, because it cannot handle the glycemic load or the glycemic index. And that's why it dies so quickly. Now, I'm not going to go through this graph. I put it up for people to peruse it later. But here are my arguments as to why animal-sourced food, predominantly low-carb animal-sourced food, is better than whole food, plant-based diet. Because if you're on a whole food, plant-based diet, by design, you're going to eat a lot of fiber in order to reduce the glycemic index. And if you're going to do that, you're going to need a large amount of time in the day to eat it to supply your brain with calories. So I want you to start eating like this. And when you start eating like this, this is what you're going to notice. A high HDL, low triglycerides, low insulin, and a higher LDL. And this is my conclusion slide, which says that should we celebrate a high LDL rather than moan it, especially since most people in these will meet these three criteria? They'll have a higher LDL, they'll have a lower triglyceride, they'll have lower insulin levels, because I'd like to submit to you that this is going to make you live longer, have better cognitive skills, lower infection rate, and lower cancer risk. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.